Welcome to the rocket profile of the H-2B, Japan's cargo rocket for the International Space Station. The first stage core consists of two LE-7A engines burning hydrogen and oxygen for 5 minutes and 52 seconds. Each engine provides a thrust of 1,098 kN in vacuum at a specific impulse of 440 seconds. This stage is accompanied by four SRB A3 boosters, which each add 2,305 kN of vacuum thrust at maximum for a minute and 54 seconds. Their efficiency is 283.6 seconds specific impulse in vacuum. With its Hydrolox core and four solid boosters, the H2B seems similar to the Ariane 6, but unlike the Ariane, its core stage does not burn for as long and therefore doesn't have to maintain the high pitch that the Ariane does. The downside is a somewhat lower payload capacity, 19 tons to low Earth orbit and 8 tons to geostationary transfer orbit. However, that capacity is enough for the primary mission of all five H-2B launches to date, to launch the HTV, the H-2 transfer vehicle, to the International Space Station. The payload you see here, of course, is just a dummy payload and not the HTV, which is also known as the Kono Tori, the Stork, and its total mass is 16.5 tons, of which 6 tons is payload. The H-2B is very different from the H-2A, which bears little resemblance to the H-2. The H-2A has only one core engine, while the H-2B has two. The H-2A has a core stage diameter of 4 meters, while the H-2B has 5.2 meters. The H-2A could launch with either two or four SRBAs, but also occasionally added two or four Caster 4AXL solid rocket boosters to the mix. The only real continuity between the H-2, the H-2A, and the H-2B are the liquid engines, one or two LE-7s on the first stage, and an LE-5 on the second stage. However, different variants of each engine appear on each rocket. On the H-2B, the second stage engine is the LE-5B, which provides 137 kN of thrust for 8 minutes and 19 seconds using hydrogen and oxygen. It has a vacuum specific impulse of 448 seconds. The fact that it has a better thrust weight ratio than the upper stages of other similar contemporary rockets means that it doesn't have to pitch up as much when delivering its maximum payload to low Earth orbit, which also marks it as a rocket designed with low orbit in mind rather than geosynchronous transfer orbit. The next planned flight of the H-2B will carry the sixth HTV to the International Space Station. So far, all flights of the H-2B have been successful. And on that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the H-2B.